we are going to look at the distributive property and how to use the distributive property to solve multiplication problems. Okay? So the first one I'm going to do is I am going to set up a problem that says, let's say it says um, 8 times 3. Okay, now this 8 times 3, I'm going to see which of these numbers I can break apart. I can break apart either of these numbers. Um, you know what, I'm going to break up this number right here, this 3, and do a 2 and a 1. So I'm going to go something times 2 plus something times 1. Okay? And what number is going to go at the beginning? Well, I broke apart this 3. This 8 stays the same. Okay. Now, I showed you guys in the other video how basically what we're doing is we're taking... Remember we took the rectangle and we broke it down? We broke it into two smaller rectangles. That's what we're doing here. We're, these are basically the sides of our smaller rectangles. We have a rectangle that's 8 by 2 and a rectangle that's 8 by 1. But for the purpose of this video, we're just showing you when you get it, when you get the, the, the problem, how you're going to break it apart into two um, expressions with parentheses and add them up. So that 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 1 is 8. And we add them together. 8 times 16, or 8 plus 16 is 24. Okay? So my answer to this one is 24. Okay, let me show you another one just so we can practice. I'll have you guys help me out. Okay? The distributive property. Let's say I have 10. Oops, that's a big eraser. I'm going to that. Let's say I have 10 times um, 6. Which one of these numbers can I... I can break apart both of them, but which one do I want to break apart for the sake of this problem. Jamie, you want to break apart the 6? Okay. What do you want to make the 6 into? Two equal groups of 3. So you want to do two equal groups of 3? Okay, we can do that. We can do that. So I'm going to put my parentheses here with my multiplication sign in the middle. Okay. Now, what's what number is going to go in this first parentheses right here? Uh, Christian. 10 times 3. 10 times 3. Since we're breaking apart this 6, this 10 is going to stay the same, okay? And what's going to go in this one over here? Cody. 10 times 3. Yeah, 10 times 3 because this 10 has to stay the same. And remember, I broke this 6 into a 3 and a 3. My 3 and my 3 right here. This is going to equal 6. So what's 10 times 3? What's 10 times 3, Abby? 30. And what's 10 times 3 over here? 30. 30. And what am I going to do to these two numbers? I have two 30s right here. What am I going to do with them? You're going to add. You're going to add them. What's 30 plus 30? Olivia? 60. 60, that's right. Okay? So when it asks you on your homework to use the distributive property, that's what we do here. When we take one of these numbers and break it apart into two numbers that we can add up to it and make our two sets of parentheses with our two different multiplication problems, then add them up. The reason why we can do that, 10 times 3 is pretty easy, right? You know, It gives us smaller things to multiply before we add them together. 